very exciting time for EastEnders. Obviously, Christmas around the corner and a new producer. And how exciting a place is it to be at the moment? Yeah, really good. Good buzz. Uh, everyone's optimistic. Um, What's it like for you without your right-hand man, Harry Reid? Uh, a bit lonely, but... It wasn't an issue because I was happy with Joseph Perry and Myra and Steve and all my old, old friends. I've known him for years. We've got Harry once. Uh, so nice, but still, you know, sad. Like, we, we, we know you're getting older. And what about the scenes of Jay wanting to have a bit of romance in his life? Is it a bit lonely? Would you like to see him paired up with anyone? Is anyone in the square you think would suit him? Well, we've been doing some uh, nice stuff with um, Louisa. Louisa. Um, I'm not saying he's going anywhere, I'm not saying that he's in their friends, but we've just been doing some nice scenes and they're friends right now, so it's kind of a watch this space moment, we'll see, uh, John and Kate's deal, um, but uh, you know, it's just nice to be doing scenes with lots of people, it's a lot of it, you know, Adam and Lacey, it's great, she's lovely, violence, um, so it's great. Obviously quite an interesting dynamic, but the Ruby story and more of it. Jay's history is that he's on the sex offence register but didn't technically do anything knowing you're wrong. So do you think that's why they paired them up so that you can have that? Possibly, you must get to different sides of the spectrum. So maybe that's why they're running. But he's uh, Jay's history. He's going to look forward, so he's going well right now with friends. It's nice to see and um, I know I'm chatting a lot here, but what can you tell us about East End this Christmas? It's always a highlight of the TV. Yeah, is it a dark one, a light one? A bit of both? Uh, I'm sure it will be another highlight. Um, I'm not involved in the main Christmas story, so um, just, just going to be what the Christmas. So, what everyone thinks?